think I liked it better when you were saying boring science stuff. <laughs> I'm never good enough. No matter what I say or what I do. I never wanted to do this. This clinical trial is making me a failure. I fail her over and over and over. I'm just gonna run and splash some cold water on my face. I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back, okay? Okay, all right. Meredith! Leave me alone! Meredith! Just leave me alone. I just wanna make sure you're all right. No, I'm not all right, okay? Are you satisfied? I'm not all right. Because you have a wife, and you call me a whore. And our dog died, and now you're looking at me. Stop looking at me. I'm not looking at you. I am not looking at you. You are looking at me, and you watch me. And Finn has plans, and I like Finn. He's perfect for me, and I'm really trying here to be happy, and I can't breathe. I can't breathe with you looking at me like that, so just stop. Do you think I want to look at you? That I wouldn't rather be looking at my wife? I'm married. I have responsibilities. She, she doesn't drive me crazy. She doesn't make it impossible for me to feel normal. She doesn't make me sick to my stomach thinking about my veterinarian touching her with his hands. Oh man, I would give anything not to be looking at you. I was gonna come over this morning, but uh... I heard the quarantine. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what does this mean? What means you have a choice? You have a choice to make. And I don't want to rush you into making a decision before you're ready. This morning, I was going to come over, and I was going to say, what I wanted to say was, but now all I can say is that I'm in love with you. I've been in love with you forever. I'm a little late. I know I'm a little late in telling you that. I, I just, I just want you to take your time, you know, take all the time you need, because you have a choice to make, and when I have a choice to make, I choose wrong. Time flies. From now on, you can expect that I'm going to show up. Even if I yell. Even if you yell. I'm always going to show up. Okay.
You are gonna make an excellent chief. We all think we're going to be great. And we feel a little bit robbed when our expectations aren't met. Griff, we've got an ovarian torsion that needs emergent surgery. You want in? Yeah. But sometimes our expectations sell us short. I was right. I swear, I really believe what I did was right. I, I don't want you to forgive me. Frankly, I, I find it patronizing if you did, because while I know I was right, you think I'm wrong. Which doesn't matter. Because I'm in this. I'm in this for the long haul. And I'm in this to finish the race. So if that means I don't win this one, then fine. I don't win. You win. I'm talking. See, I'm talking first, you win. Sometimes the expected simply pales in comparison to the unexpected. Mary. I don't want to waste another minute. I can't have sex with you again, George, okay? I can't. I just, I, enough with the sex. Since my dad died, I feel like uh, someone ripped out my stomach, filled the hole with asphalt. And I laugh every time I remember I'm never going to talk to him again because it just sounds like the stupidest thing I ever heard. Can't believe it's real. But every time I look at you, I feel better. It shocks me. It knocks my wind out, but it's true. I don't have to have sex with you. I'd be happy just to look at you from across the room. And even that, anything, any piece of you. I mean, hopefully, all of you, that'd be the best thing. Because I love you, George. Mary? Will you marry me? Marry me, Christine. You gotta wonder why we cling to our expectations. Because the expected is just what keeps us steady, standing, still. Marry me. The expected's just the beginning. The unexpected is what changes our lives.